Michigan is extending the state's workplace COVID restrictions for another six months. That means employees could spend even more time away from their workplaces. Tonight, 13 on your side's Atlanta Holland takes a closer look at those restrictions. Yes, this extension would still require employers to prohibit in-person work if it is feasible to do remotely. Huge positivity rates and cases going up uh, incredibly fast and kind of continuing that trend. So we're not in a position right now where it makes sense to start congregating people together in the workplace. But this set of rules does a lot more than that. Sean Egan, director of COVID-19 workplace safety in Michigan, says it also requires employers to have a written COVID-19 preparedness and response plan. Health screenings, social distancing, face coverings, and practicing good hygiene. Data from the state health department shows in the last seven months, there have been 670 COVID outbreaks in manufacturing and construction and 332 in office settings. Monday, Governor Whitmer teased the extension, but emphasized this does not necessarily mean employees cannot return to the office in the next six months. People are gonna think that that means you can't go into the office for another six months, and that's not the case. But by law, we have to give the second extension so that we've got some of the tools. Egan confirmed things could change and the rules can be modified or withdrawn at any time. And they're working to create a phased in return plan. I think as employers update policies and things continue to progress uh, with vaccinations and otherwise, we will see more and more people slowly moving back into the office environment. But Rick Baker, the president of the Grand Rapids Area Chamber of Commerce, quite disappointed, says many West Michigan businesses are ready to bring more employees back into the office. You know, we feel like businesses have invested in their facilities to make them safe for their employees. We've learned a lot in the year. Um, we're vaccinating people. And so a six month extension seemed extreme. Meanwhile, Egan says the state is just not there yet. But for those folks that you don't need to congregate. You should avoid that right now because transmission is really high and vaccinations are catching up, but we still have a long way to go there as well. Elena Holland, 13 on your side.